Good morning, friends. Today I am in the beautiful city of Milan, Italy, to attend Eula 2023. I am here to present our original research on the impact of jack inhibitor tofacitinib on cardiovascular risk in rheumatoid arthritis. Jack inhibitors have been a great advancement in the armamentarium for treating patients with rheumatoid arthritis, especially those who have been refractory or inadequate responders to conventional synthetic demands or biologic demands. However, there is a big concern regarding the cardiovascular safety of tofacitinib in these rheumatic diseases. You might be aware that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of morbidity and mortality in diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. Ever since the publication of surveillance data, there has been a great concern regarding the cardiovascular safety of tofacitinib in rheumatoid arthritis patients. And this is not without a reason. However, the exact mechanism for this excess CV risk with tofacitinib is not known. So here is what we did. We randomized 81 patients, consecutive patients of rheumatoid arthritis to receive, uh, to receive tofacitinib or a placebo in addition to their ongoing conventional synthetic DMAR. All these patients were devoid of cardiovascular risk factors or underlying cardiovascular disease. The primary endpoint was the occurrence of MACE, VTE or the effect on endothelial dysfunction. The secondary endpoint was the impact of the drug on DAS28, ESRCERT and ACDI. After 12 weeks of treatment, there was no increased risk of MACE or VTE in either group. However, there was a big improvement in the endothelial dysfunction estimated by using the flow mediated dilatation in patients who received tofacitinib as compared to the placebo. Also, in that tofacitinib arm, there was great improvement in ESR, CRP, DAS 28. To give you an idea, a 1% reduction in flow mediated dilatation is associated with a 13% increase of cardiovascular risk. In our study, there was a 29% improvement in flow mediated dilatation after 12 weeks of therapy with tofacitinib in patients who had failed conventional synthetic EMR. Hence, what we found that tofacitinib is cardioprotective and vasculoprotective and does well in patients who have been refracted to standard therapy in the